episode 6 already, that's pretty cool. I remember when I started a series on World War 2 drawings, and it was really cool, because I did 10 whole episodes in like one afternoon, and I was really proud of them, but um, somehow they accidentally got deleted, so I tried starting the series again. I did one episode, and that also got deleted, because I hated it. And then I did another episode, and it got deleted as well, so I hope that I haven't jinxed anything by hoping that this doesn't happen to this series, because, yeah, that wouldn't be good. So, in this episode, we're drawing a soldier from the Queen's Own Regiment, that's the 97th, 7th foot, so they were around in 1814 to 1815 I'm pretty sure. So just jumping into this video I'm gonna show you what colours we're gonna need. Outline pen, red, gold, woody brown, stormy blue, radioactive green, metal grey, dark grey and horizon grey except not radioactive green. So similar to the officer we're starting off with the trousers. I think if I ever do people with trousers, I usually um, do the trousers first before the shoes, but if they're wearing boots, um, I do the boots first. I think it's just, I think it just makes more sense to me. I don't know why. So yeah, torso, dip that bit down, collar, but like in episode to draw it again on the inside because then it's like you have the white outlining rucksack strap strap one strap two the buckle in the middle line straight down the middle and then um similar to the regular infantry people that we've been doing recently it has all these like little rectangles in the middle one arm then one cuff then it has the cufflings, one arm, one cuff, cufflings, and then hands. I don't know why, but I like showing me drawing the musket. I think it's just because the musket's kind of a complicated shape, so I think it's easier if you can see how it's drawn, as opposed to it just kind of appearing out of nothing. Head, sunscreen, then I kind of want to let you see how the shako's done so it's like a small bit then cross that off uh and then from there do like a big dome from this point meet it with that point and then there's like a little button there so from that button is like a line a ring i might actually make this hat just a bit bigger you saw nothing. Then the similar sort of shape as the King German Legion, where it's a circle with like an upside down triangle, and and then the plume is sev severed in half. So I'm just gonna give him a face that he can have like a dotted beard, and he's a bit concerned. Okay, colors: musket brown. Oh, wait, actually no, sorry, I forgot. Um, we've. I forgot to do the, like, bag thing. Okay, sorry. It's late and I'm tired, so it's not my fault. Fuck you. Bayonet's grey. Trousers are also metal grey. Horizon grey for the backpack. Gold grey for the shoes and shackle. Then red for the bottom half of the plume. And the main part of the tunic so again the sleeves and the torso oh, I'm so tired mm. then that stormy blue for the facings also I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video you need a skin color but I just kind of I guess that'd be obvious because it's again more soldiers so that's him done um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, as always, if you haven't checked out the previous episodes, then you should probably do that right away, or I will hire uh, special dogs to bark at all the postmen that come to your house, and you'll never receive a Valentine's Day card, Happy Birthday card, Christmas card, or 
any other get well soon card ever again so it's definitely beneficial to click the subscribe button